So what does a nightclub feel like? What does it sound like? Creating community on the dance floor through nightlife, through centering, you know, brown DJs and queerness and sound. You know? Textures. The textures, again, yeah, that's around nice. Yeah. The place. Boom is a project that Madison and I yeah, have been working on together, which explores the politics of black sound really thinking about where we're at with sort of queer black nightlife in London. And wondering where are the black gay spaces, where are the black owned spaces, and really trying to create awesome. a space that really kind of captured the, a range of black sounds. Often there's a kind of compromise that has to be made. You know, you either have a space that is safe or you have a space which has a really great sound system. The two don't often seem to happen at the same time. So we're thinking like, how do we make that possible? For me, partying is political. Finding spaces where I feel completely free, can completely let loose and enjoy myself are actually really rare. So to find those spaces and to be able to sort of relish in them does feel like a political act. To be able to kind of come in, turn up, and just, yeah, and just let go, like that is a political act. Dancing is a bit of a release and kind of a getting out those antagonisms of, you know, daily life and living while brown, basically. We did a working group on club culture, which I think is really important for having really great speakers like Josh Cafe and Luis Manuel Garcia, um, who's like a leading scholar of electronic dance music culture. Evan, myself, present work where we are in terms of thinking about blackness and clubs and, and sort of nightlife and spaces. The politics of bass, which was in the morning, and then the politics of space which happened in the afternoon. And actually, what we kind of realized um, as a result of this was that, um, I guess in the, the morning, we had sort of sessions or presentations which were exploring, you know, kind of the effect, the effects of the nightlife space, like the feelings, the textures, in the afternoon, it became really about, I guess, the practicalities of yeah. kind of navigating nightlife, yeah, yeah, of yeah. being a promoter, yeah. of being a performer, being a DJ. And actually, it was really great, I think, to have those two different aspects kind of coexist. And also the money aspects as well. Right. You know, things like right. door fees, especially like, I mean, that's something that I'm really kind of want to talk about a lot because I think that you it's really hard to create community when your door prices are like astronomical and not really inclusive in that way. The newness is it's about, I guess, yeah, bridging gaps, which I feel like exist. I think, you know, as an artist, something I'm often doing is like finding the gaps, finding the spaces and things, and, you know, also sort of um, this idea of kind of thinking through what it means to build communities and nurture communities in the present is also something I'm really interested in in my own work. I think that's kind of where we came together is our interest in the, the complex space as a site where these you know, where communities can be formed and built and also nurtured. I mean, quite plainly, taking club culture seriously as a space of creativity, of newness, of ideas. I mean, there's, you could look throughout sort of art history, performance history, and find artists engaging with clubs and club worlds. So in some ways, like, that's part of the goal as well, to kind of join that conversation and to take the club seriously as a space. Something's happening. Something's happening.